President Putin, thank you for speaking with us. 双普会后，俄罗斯总统普丁把第一场电视专访送给了过去最挺川普，但如今却反弹最大的福斯电视新闻。President Trump said in his news conference that our relationship has never been worse, but that changed a few hours ago. How has the relationship, big picture, between the U.S. and Russia changed today? Today, with talking with President Trump, we agreed that terrorism is a greater threat than it seems um, at first. Because, God forbid, if something happens, if there is a terrorist attack using the weapons of mass destruction, if they get their hands to weapons of mass destruction, it may have a devastating ramifications. Do you see the summit as a turning point, an end by effort, of the effort by the West in recent years to isolate Russia? I think you see for yourself that these efforts failed and they were never bound to succeed. I mean, take a look at the scale, at the sheer size of it, the importance of it in terms of international security and the economy. Take the, its contribution into the global energy market. It's too big to, to be sanctioned and isolated. Fuzi Zhubo显然 有备而来先提两个简单问题，礼貌暖场，接着便紧咬火线话题，舌战普丁。Mr. President, one of the issues that is standing in the way of more progress, as you know, are the allegations of Russian interference in the U.S. election. You have repeatedly said, and you said again today, that this was not the action of the Russian state. That if it was anything, it was patriotic Russian individuals. I have here the indictment that was presented on Friday from the special counsel Robert Mueller, that says that 12 members of Russian military intelligence, the GRU, and they talk specifically about units 26, 165. And 74, 455. They say, "You smile." Let me finish. <laughs> They say that these units were specifically involved in hacking into Democratic Party computers, stealing information, and spreading it to the world to try to disrupt the American election. May I give this to you to look at, sir? Here. No, please, please. Okay. Interference with the domestic affairs of the United States. Do you really believe that someone acting from the Russian territory could have influenced the United States and influenced the choice of millions of Americans? I'm not This is utterly ridiculous. I'm asking whether they tried. I'm about to answer. Well, this was the first point that I'm trying to make. If you have some patience, you'll hear the entire response. Вот я говорил в шестнадцатом году, хочу повторить сейчас. I said this in 2016, and I say it now. The idea was about hacking uh, an email account of a Democratic candidate. Was it some uh, rigging of facts? Was it some forgery of facts? That's the important thing that I'm trying to the important point that I'm trying to make. Was this any false information planted? No, it wasn't. May I just say you're you're indicating that they stole real money, Don't you like not my counterfeit money. So, are you saying it's okay because the facts that they took from the DNC, from John Podesta, it was their real email? So it's okay to hack and per spread this information out and interfere with the election? Послушайте меня. Well, listen to me, please. The information that I am aware of, there's nothing false about it. Every single grain of it is true, and the Democratic leadership admitted it. The first point. And now for the specific accusations. First of all, Special Counsel Mueller has accused a certain private company in Russia. That is not even a very big enterprise. Its core area of competence is a restaurant business. And now, this company. Hired American lawyers and defending its integrity and reputation in an American court. 
So far, American court has not discovered any trace of interference whatsoever. Do you know it or not? But let the millions of Americans know about it. Putin 显然对于美国媒体的公然挑战神情有些不耐，但他也不敢不小心接招，因为华勒斯每个问题都切中要害。Why should I, this come as a surprise? Was it worth going all the way to Helsinki, going through the Atlantic, to just insult one another? And well, it's, it's not exactly the diplomatic standard in the world. There's no need to go and meet personally if you just want to insult another person. We met to try to find a way for. Improving our relationship and not aggravating it or destroying it completely. I don't want to insult President Trump when I say this, and I may come come as rude. But before he announced that he will run for presidency, he was of no interest for us. He's a, he was a rich person, but well, there's plenty of rich persons in the United States. He was in the construction business. He organized the beauty pageants, but no, it would never occur to anyone that he would think of running for president. He never mentioned his political ambitions. It sounds like it's another nonsense. I just mentioned this in the press conference. Saint Petersburg Economic Forum was visited by 500 businessmen. Well, pretty much every one of them. Is a major industrialist, a tycoon, of greater scale than President Trump. Do you think that our special services actually organize surveillance on each and every of them? Well, unlike you, unlike the United States, we don't do this. We don't have enough resources. We don't have enough manpower to organize the total state of control. First of all, all of us have plenty of political rivals. I'm pretty sure President Trump has plenty of political rivals. But they don't end up dead. Но не всегда. А вот что президентов не убивают. Not always. Well, haven't presidents been killed in the United States? Have you forgotten about it? Well, has Kennedy been killed in Russia or in the United States? Что вообще происходит? Oh, Mr. King. What and what happens at the clashes between police and civil society and some several ethnic groups? Well, that's that's something that happens on the U.S. soil. All of us have our own set of domestic problems. But going back, a big fight for the American people. The press conference. Vladimir Putin using hot sauce to insult a couple. He can choose between the two sides and supporting the Republican Party's Chuck Schumer. He also shows his support for the American people. This is a serious threat.